This is a day Catherine and I have looked forward to for a very long time, 18 months, in fact, ever since my grandmother, the Queen, on the morning of our wedding, bestowed on us the name of this great city. We both feel immense pride at being associated with Cambridge, a place renowned the world over for its dynamism, beauty and learning. And it is lovely for us to be here together today. But it's not the first time I've been here. My brother Harry and I were fortunate enough to come to Cambridge five years ago when we spent a couple of days at Trinity. I have to say it's the closest Harry's ever got to university. <laughs> It's an easy dig. <laughs> On a serious note, though, standing here with you today in the heart of this city, this seat of learning for so many centuries, for so many great minds, leaves us both feeling very humble. Within a mile of us, gravity and DNA were discovered. Many of the brilliant minds who, through their later work at Bletchley Park, did so much to save our country and the free world were given first flowering to their genius here at Cambridge. This university has more Nobel Prize winners to its name than all but a couple of countries. That fact alone must shake even that other place along the M40, <laughs> it that must not be named, to its very foundations. So thank you, Lord Sainsbury, to be associated with the city and by consequence with the University of Cambridge is indeed a very great honour for us both. Thank you.